Can we please get a shot of me like where where I'd be walking through the woods like pointing at a tree and like not really saying anything and maybe something else is going on but we're just like watching <laughs> I'm just like oh, wow like nature look at all the nature out today no doubt about it Nature the primary source of all our fuel and energy systems today we're going to talk about one system in particular, a wood pellet boiler. Hi, my name is Jesse Nichols, and I'm a member of Group 4 of the Wood Pellet Boiler Project Group. Our specialty is in wood pellet boilers, and today we invite you on this journey to explore the inner workings of these systems, some general considerations, as well as a detailed examination of what we call the Cortland Project. Let's take a closer look at the system, starting with the pellets themselves. Wood pellets are the most common type of wood fuel and generally made from compacted sawdust or other related waste from wood manufacturing. Here this woman is making her own pellets with a home pellet mill. Using hardwood sawdust and water, she instantly has a fuel that can keep her warm during the winter. Now that's pretty cool. There are many advantages to using a wood pellet boiler. It can save 40 to 60% on heating costs if it was switched to a wood pellet boiler. This is because pellets are not on an inflationary trend like other traditional heating fuels. The cost of pellets now will be the cost of pellets in the future. It's also a sustainable source and burns cleaner. It can also be stored easily and you can control the temperature and how it works. Well, biomass is pretty good for households and small businesses on small scales rather than the large scale because it has that fuel and when you're thinking about using fuel you have to consider best management practices and using sustainable practices with growing, regrowing the biomass. Some companies not so much. I do know specifically of some wood pellets that come from lumber industries. They use the extra sawdust that's going to be put to waste anyways and then they compact it, compress it, clean it, dry it out into these little pellets. Okay, so wood pellets seem pretty great. They're a natural waste product with a slim fraction of carbon emissions that come from fossil fuels. Let's take a closer look at how we actually translate these pellets into energy for your home. Here is our system, a Froling P4 wood pellet boiler. It operates fully automatically, from the cleanup to the ignition to the pellets delivery. Here, the pellets are suctioned from the storage unit into a supply bin. From this point, they are dropped into a drop tube, piece by piece, onto a steady steel combustion chamber. In the combustion chamber, with a steady stream of hot air, the pellets are controllably and automatically ignited to provide efficient heat production. This heat will then rise and be carried through a series of distribution pipes to be brought to the rest of the home. Propane was used by the house for the purposes of heating, hot water, cooking, and clothes drying. For our analysis, however, propane was eliminated from all aspects, except for cooking and clothes drying. And instead, we proposed installation of a Froling P4 wood pellet boiler, the total cost of which was 16500 including incentives with an efficiency of 92%. The pellets used as fuel would offset the approximately 1,946 gallons of propane, or 131 million BTUs, used annually. To do this, approximately 10.5 tons of pellets are required annually, which at a price of $200 per ton, would cost $2,096 roughly every year. The wood pellet boiler can only satisfy the heating requirements of the residents. Therefore, Solar array is also suggested for installation. It would be a 4.5 kilowatt system as it provided the maximum uh, production for the least amount of cost and is expected to provide 75% of the residence's electricity use, or is approximately 4,900 kilowatt hours every year. The electricity would be not be, it would be net metered back into the grid and the expected cost of the photovoltaic system after incentives would be $10,154. The price of electricity was found to be 12 cents per kilowatt hour and expected escalation rate each year was 3%.
The economic payback for the PV system is 17.27 years. We calculated this by using the PV system cost, and I sort of credit, and savings in dollars per year. The economic payback for the boiler is 5.96 years. We, we calculated this by using NYSERDA credit and also by using dollars per year. Hi, my name is Amy Barnello. As part of our analysis, we calculated the energy bill for the first year of production. This value was found to be $3,386.33. This included the 12 gallons of propane omitted from the heating load. We also calculated the 10-year energy savings associated with the renewable energy installation, the prices of which were escalated at 3% each year. By using the PV system, we are decreasing the need for energy production by the power plant. For every kilowatt hour we produce, that is one less kilowatt hour that the power plant needs to produce. Also, since the power plant is around 34% efficient, this impact is almost threefold because when they produce three kilowatt hours, one comes to us and two goes to the environment. Therefore, we are saving a lot of wasted power using this specific system. Using both of these systems, economic payback is a lot slower compared to the environmental payback, as the PV system saves a larger percentage of electricity costs. But that amount is small compared to the purchase of the installation costs. Comparing this to the environmental impact, all of the energy that doesn't need to be purchased reduces the amount of energy the power plant has to produce, which is created very inefficiently. The wood pellet boiler is going to cost $22,000 to buy up front. However, NYSERDA will provide a $5,500 tax credit, reducing the price down to about a net total of $16,500. However, the system provides However, the system saves $27.70 a year, so every year it saves almost $3,000, and after six years, the system will pay off itself. After that, the savings are just straight to your pockets. You don't have to put them out. On the PV side, the cost is similar. The PV system costs $22,500, but this time the NYSERDA program provides a greater incentive. They'll pay $12,500, giving you a net cost of $10,000. However, this system produces less savings per year, only saving you $600 a year. And because of the lower savings, it, co it takes 17 and a half years to pay back for the system. However, combining the two systems, the overall payback is about 10 years. So, in conclusion, you can see that our team has really thought this project the whole way through. We've chosen the wood pellet boiler because it, uh, it has a, a fuel that's very reliable, that's pretty cheap, and that's accessible. It'll cover the entire house's um, hot water and heating needs, and then we're going to supplement those needs with an, a PV system as well to cover electricity. We'll see paybacks within just a few years, and these systems will really help power the home into the future, into the 21st century. Yeah. Am I rolling? Yeah, you're rolling. Oh. Hi, I'm Heather, and I'm here to talk about the wood pellet boiler. Oh, I thought you were going to ask me questions. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. You're <laughs> right. Okay. Using the PV production and the cost of a kilowatt hour. What? I don't know what I'm saying. What am I saying? <laughs> Do you want me to write it down for you? Yes. We're gonna have to because me in the future, me in five days from now, has already done the homework. There's no reason to be stressed about that. Do <laughs> you want to introduce yourself or something? Yeah, I'm sorry. My name is Andrew Bailey. By... Oh, I'm going to redo that. Okay, that's fine. The heat can just be used for radiate, radiating floors. I cut. Okay. Redo. Alright. I'm going to run through that one more time. Okay. 
another reason that. <laughs> we still have to pay for propane. That asshole. <laughs> Sorry. I, I forgot you were here. Um. Wait. Well, I do what I think that. I need a tree. <laughs> <laughs>